Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about VIM. So what is VIM and there is a question for you guys. What is VIM and what is difference between VIM and VI editor? These are two different editors or these are these both are similar. So you need to let me know what is difference between both. It means VI versus VIM. What are difference between both? You, so you are going to tell me. Okay, I'm sorry like VI exists here. So that worked. Fine. So you need to tell me like what is difference between VI and VIM. Fine. So today we are going to discuss about VIM editor as this is that, that the particular command does not no such file directory. So what we need to do is we need to go for installation of this and uh, i would have to request you guys if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please like share and subscribe and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos okay so as we are talking here about vim editor so first of all we have to install using the em command em i n s t a l l v i m minus y minus y means assumes yes we will discuss it in detail about em command how does it work and what all okay so now if i run vim command so it says that vi improved it means vi am equal to vi improved so what is improved here what all stuff is there so you need to go through it and you need to update in comment section if you do not read no worries i will let you know within next video about this but for now let us discuss about vi am okay so for now i'm going to copy one file here cp slash etc and fstep for example i'm going to copy that file here okay so file already existed here uh, as i was doing some testing okay so what i'm going to do is i will open this file using vim command so this is quite colorful here and i am at some places i'm at some place here within this file so what if i want to go to top of this file press gg it means gg command you need to press and you are if you are not able to find the that what line number you are at so you can press here as it is set and you set number so it will let you know the line numbers as well if you want to unset as it is set no 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 numbers you can unset it okay now if you need to edit your file using vim editor so you can press i i is the very first insert mode letter here that you can press i okay second letter is a it means it will jump you one letter one character ahead where, wherever you are so you will jump one letter ahead fine okay if you need to go to end of the line what you need to do is you will press shift a it means capital a you need to press just to go to end of the line fine after that if you want to go to end of the file so what you need to do is you need to press shift g so you will go to end of the line post that you what you need to do is you need to press o o means insert mode with new line i will repeat this i it means insert mode at the same point where you correct where is your cursor for example i am here at this point so if i press a i will be in insert mode at the same place if i press a so i will jump one character ahead and if i press capital a so it will take me to last of the line then after if i press o it will jump me to next line with insert mode if i make any modification here and i did not want it to write i need to undo that so i will press only u and that will do all the changes like as we press control z it means undo section fine so what if i need to replace any word here for example i need to replace the, this man page the particular thing which is written here man so I, if i need to replace one at what i need to do is i need to press semicolon okay this colon then percentage s then i need to write here man and after that the particular word whatever i want to uh, replace with for example lokendra then after i need to press g for global it means if this man page is repeated here maybe 10 times 20 maybe 1000 times if it is repeated so it will replace all the changes okay so there is some problem with that i don't know what let me check once again percentage s slash man slash lock slash g and enter fine this is replaced okay i pressed one this uh, i pressed one 
a post office so that that didn't work fine so what is the command you can do it like this like percentage as it means this will search for man and will replace from log and g for globally fine so this is how you can search and replace your content in vim editor fine so what next what next can you do is i'm not going to update this file i'm not going to save it i will quit like this and what if you want to save wq and exclamation why exclamation this exclamation mark or this bang mark is put here for forcefully quitting if you just want to save you don't want to uh, quit you can press w w for write q for quit and if you want that quit without save and forcefully so that will wq sorry q and exclamation fine what if you want to add something and you want to quit from here so it's not all that you can write this so what you can do is go in escape mode press shift z z it means shift plus z z means capital z you need to press for quitting from this file okay now there are some more hacks of this file if you want to open this file and you want to jump directly to line number five so what you can do it plus five and then you need to write file name so where we are we can see here this is line number five here and if you want to see in different manner set and you and you are at this line number fine so we are at line number five with this with the help of this particular then after if you want to go to any specific pattern so you can write here plus slash then after your pattern like m a n then f s tab wherever you want to go or wherever you want to switch to so you can write you can find the text here and you, if you press n so you will be directed to the next particular character n means next next word and capital n means previous word so small n capital both n works here for finding next and previous letter for example if i search here that there are five, there there is particular word on if i search here on so it will show me that wherever i am so it will let me know that particular stuff okay if i find only only e e is the particular letter which comes multiple times here so it will let me know that wherever i am it will okay you can find it out here that line number and particular character whatever character we are working at so it will lead you to that particular letter here it will jump you to next particular word so this is how you can search and you can work here fine using capital n and small n small means previous one n means next one okay so what if you want to open your file using vim editor but you don't want to modify file it means you want to open file in read only mode or by mistake maybe possible you are working with such a file which is system file or which is server's configuration file you are working with you are just going to read the file so best practice is not to open in normal writable mode you need to write like this shift plus m and after that you need to write file if you press o okay sorry i am sorry i have committed some mistake here vim plus m okay vim hyphen m not plus m hyphen m so if i press any any key here maybe o maybe i maybe e so if i press any letter here so it will not allow me to modify this file so this is best best practice that you can use always to open your files in such a manner okay then what if you want to open multiple files vim hyphen o vim hyphen o then you can open maybe fs tab maybe anaconda multiple files you can open in this manner you can compare your files fine so what if you want to quit this so you will have to do like this or you can press q all it means quit all files so this is how you can work with your vim editor uh, once again i would like to repeat and i would like to ask the same question that what is difference between v uh, between vi and vim editor you need to let me know and if you need to know some more hacks about uh, vim so keep on watching my channel so i'll be posting some new hacks within my next video so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning thank you for watching this video